Hello there everyone and welcome to my iMovie tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to crop into a clip and make it look like you're shooting with two cameras. And I'm going to do this using my iPad mini but it works every bit as well on your iPhone. So let's begin by opening up iMovie and selecting our project and getting into the timeline by clicking edit. Now this technique works very, very well if you're shooting something like a, a piece to camera where um, you're, you're only using your iPhone uh, and you can't zoom in or out actually as the shot is running. You have to keep it on one size. So here's me, I've just um, shot a piece with, uh, with my iPhone. So as you can hear, there's some audio with it. So here I am, just chatting away. I'm uh, filming this on my iPhone using a selfie stick. And so there I am, I'm chatting away. And I did uh, sort of stop the, uh, the, the chatting very briefly uh, to give us a point to cut in. Now it's always much more effective if you can use the crop on, on a, a point in the, in the interview where, where the speaking has stopped for a second. So let's just listen to that point. You can see it's a wide shot and I've got no option to zoom in. Uh, it's too far away, um, I'm filming myself, um, but I would like a close-up shot if possible. So that's my little in point there. Uh, and what I need to do, I need to split the clip first. So let's highlight it, actions, and split. So again, when we split the clip, uh, when it's a straight cut, there's no loss of continuity or anything. Shot so let's possible. Watch. So here now is where we can... You can see that. It's just jump that gap with, with no loss of sync of audio uh, and, and no... Uh, it's, it's a seamless join. Like a close-up shot if possible. So here now is where... So now we can zoom in for the close-up. So let's highlight the clip and... In, let's get rid of the, um, the media browser. So in the top of the, the viewing window, you can see this little uh, sort of magnifying glass with a cross on it. So let's highlight that. And as it says, we just need to pinch and zoom. So if we now pinch in this viewing window, we can resize it, um, make it slightly bigger, bring it over to one side, and let go, so there we are. So now when we play the clip, um, but I would like a close-up shot if possible. So here now is where we can, you can have see a... It's zoomed in, um, not, not the most attractive of shots, I have to say, but it uh, demonstrates my point. So we've gone from the wide shot, and we've zoomed in to a closer shot. Now, when you zoom in, you have to be a little bit careful because uh, you're not doing a true zoom. What you're doing is basically enlarging the image. Uh, and as you enlarge that image, if there's grain or, or anything, in, you're enlarging those imperfections as well. If you go too big, let's try that again. Let's, let's just show you what happens. It doesn't look particularly good. You can see it's um, a little bit grainy. The resolution's not very good. Up. Um, but um, we will have to do it with And that's because we, we've just gone too, hopefully... too far on the zoom. So let's come back, change that, um, keep coming back. So we're back to our original zoom size. So there we go. That's a very basic and quick technique for making it look like you've been using two cameras. Um, if you have any questions about how to use this technique, please leave a comment. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Please like and share and check out some of my other films.